All right. Now we're doing 8Q, multiply the number. This is by San OO, and 91% of the people like it. Jack really likes his number 5. The trick here is that we have to multiply each number by 5 raised to the number of digits of each number. So, for example, all these, right? So, for this one, we're just going to need a couple of things. Uh, we're going to need some math.abs. We're also going to need um, a string constructor. But first, let's get uh, this stuff out of the way. So, we need to do five times the number, right? And the number, no. We're going to have to do number times five raised to the this uh, number's digits power, all right? So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to do uh, string and uh, let me show you the string constructor. The string constructor is used to create a new string object when called instead of as a, fu as a function. Uh, it, performs, it performs type conversion to a primitive string which is usually more useful. So we're just doing type conversion. We're going to say string number, but if it's a negative number, we need to do dot, excuse me. We're going to have to do the absolute value of that. So math.abs function returns the absolute value of a number that is the returns x if x is positive or zero, and the negation of x if x is negative, all right? So we're going to say in here, math.abs number, all right? So now that we got that, now we're going to say dot length, all right? So it's number times 5 to the math.abs of the number converted to a string Don't, and, the, and the length of that, all right? Let's see if it works. Test it out. All right, works. Attempt it. Great. Submit it. Very much like this one. Let's look at my solutions. Just the two of us, best practice in my opinion. We'll see you next time.